Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman, and this company is making a million dollars in profit from just one Amazon listing, and that does not include all of their other products or platforms that they are on. What is it? Pool unicorns. That's right, those inflatable pool unicorns that you see all over Instagram, or maybe you went to a pool party where you went and there's this giant inflatable unicorn floating in the pool that you just gotta dive on. My family and I just got one of these earlier this summer. It's like... I don't know, it's like seven feet long and you can fit like three or four kids on it or two adults. It's amazing. My son named ours Corn, fittingly enough. Corn, the pool unicorn. I love it. Anyways, if you're curious like me, you wanted you you're wondering like how does how do companies like this make money? How much money do these companies make? And how much do the products cost? How much does it cost them? How much, how much profit are they making? Well, I did the calculation for you. I'm gonna go through it, but they're making a million dollars, more than a million dollars. If we go to Amazon here and we type in pool unicorn, okay, pool unicorn float, floaty, there's a bunch of different things, but pool unicorn, okay, Ads, got some ads here. These are sponsored, these are ads. Different companies doing it. But you go down here to the organic listing, meaning the one that's not an ad, and let's look at the ones that are performing the best. Jason Well is the one that's performing the best. That's the, the, actual, uh, that's the actual one that we have. Jason Well is the brand name. And I use this tool called Jungle Scout to do all the calculations and figure out how much money they're making and units sold. So you can see right here, their monthly sales is, uh, it's actually a little bit lower than when I just did this, the calculations, but, th but that's okay. 5,704 units per month. They're doing 190 units per day. That's about 210,991 in monthly revenue. They're netting $24.41 out of this $36.99. The rest of that, $12.58, is going to Amazon for fulfillment, customer service, uh, and even the PPC advertising costs that uh, they're running. Now, they're not making any ads here, but if I change it to pool unicorn float, let's see. Um, hmm, still not running any ads here, but they still show up first, so maybe they're not spending a ton on ads. And you can see they have other products here. Jason Well, this looks like a smaller version, maybe a kid's version. But let's dive into the economics, right? <clears throat> so before we get into the sale amount, we need to know, know how much the product costs them to make. So we go to Alibaba, type in pool unicorn or inflatable unicorn. You can see right here for 3,600 of them, it's between $9.30 and $12. Now this company is ordering more than 3,600. Judging by their sales, they're probably ordering a minimum of 50,000 at a time because the amount they're selling on Amazon is definitely that much. And that doesn't include Walmart and eBay, which they also are selling on, um, judging by our research. So let's assume their cost is $5 per unit. That's probably more appropriate. So let's go over here to our sheet. So I did the calculations already. And um, like I said, a few minutes ago, they were a little bit different, but the software takes averages. So assuming that they're doing 5,766 in monthly units, the cost of goods is $5. They are netting $24.41, not including the cost of goods, right? So this is the net from Amazon. Um, that's a monthly net of $140,748. Now subtract the cost of goods, and that's $28,830. And they are netting $111,918 from this one listing. This isn't from Amazon. This is just from this one listing and this one product. Okay. So what does that mean? That means they are bringing in $1,343,016.72 per year from this one listing, people. One listing on Amazon is netting them $1.3 million. Whoa, awesome. Okay, so there's a few other things we need to look at, though. They aren't just doing that magically, right? There's people that have to actually facilitate that. So being in the industry and knowing, you know, we do work all the time on Amazon for my ad agency. So knowing that there's people that need to do that, if they don't hire an agency, they have people internally. There's one person who's managing the Amazon, the listings, the PPC. That person maybe costs $50,000 a year in salary if they're here in the U.S., okay? They probably have another person who is managing, like, the chargebacks and the financial stuff and the, you know, the customer service complaints and all that kind of stuff through Amazon, but also through Walmart and eBay and the other ones. That's another $50,000 on average. 
And then they have another person who's managing the actual supply. So if they don't have their own warehouse, which they probably don't, maybe they do, um, they're just managing the drop shipping, ordering it from the company. The company brings it into a 3PL here in the United States, and then that 3PL gets it, forwards it over to Amazon, or a freight forwarder or forwards it to Amazon. Okay, so there's three people managing the account, $150,000 in salary, and you subtract that salary out, and this is the profit, people. $1,193,016.72 from one product, one listing, and one platform. Wow. Awesome. Okay. This doesn't include Walmart. They're selling on Walmart also. This doesn't include eBay. They're selling on eBay also. And they might even sell on other platforms like Target um, or you know some of the other plat retail platforms. Okay. Crazy, right? Crazy, as my son says. Crazy. Uh, so... Let's look at some of the search volume, right? Like, like you go over to Google, um, you look at the top, the top listings, and it's Amazon, it's Walmart, right? So it's those platforms. So they got, they have built-in uh, traffic. They have built-in leads. People already going to Amazon, already going to Walmart to look. Okay, I'm using a software here called Ahrefs and Inflatable Unicorn. The search volume, it's only 800 per month on Amazon, uh, people searching for that specific term. But Amazon's really good at recommending products. So a lot of those sales are probably coming from recommended po products. People are searching for other pool-related things. Over on uh, Google, it's a little higher, 1.1 1 .1, or 1,100 searches uh, per month for inflatable unicorn. Um, there's other search terms down here, unicorn inflatable, inflatable pool. So, you know, a few thousand search searches on Google, and they're the ones that are landing on Amazon and Walmart anyways, okay? So people are searching. Now, if we think about the um, – I'll turn my camera off here. If we think about the customers, right, like what does a company like this do to market? Well, obviously they do Amazon PPC to drive traffic. So people searching for pool items, inflatable pool toys, they want to show up to drive traffic, right? They probably do Walmart ads as well. Um, but the big thing that I would do, and I'm wondering if they do, is influencer marketing. Influencer marketing is the way that they can build the brand of inflatable unicorns. Now, there's other people selling inflatable unicorns, but because Jason Well already ranks first in Amazon, they're already running ads most likely, and they probably rank pretty well in Walmart.com uh, and eBay as well, now I would focus on building the brand. Because think of it like this, okay? It's five dollars. Cost them five dollars to buy a unicorn. Um, there's thousands of influencers that would be perfect for this brand. Ones that are travel, travel influencers. Ship it to their hotel. Hotels ship it to the hotel. Um, uh, Entertainment-based influencers. Think about the ones that are jumping into pools off of rock cliffs and, you know, doing backflips into pools. And the the uh, think about the chefs and cooking influencers having them float on an on a inflatable unicorn enjoying the meal that they just cooked, the pizza that they just cooked, the steak that they just grilled. There's so many applications in influencer marketing for this particular product. If it's five bucks, if you send a thousand of these things out, it's five thousand dollars. If you send a thousand out every month, it's only five thousand dollars. When you compare that to the cost to run ads or create content, it's not much money. So five thousand dollars every month you're sending out five, that's 60,000 unicorns you're sending out to influencers every month, okay? So tack that on to, um, no, I'm sorry, that's not 60,000, that's $60,000, sorry. That's $60,000 that you're paying annually to send out a um, 1,000 every month, 12,000 unicorns, okay? Now, add on another influencer budget to pay for those influencers to do this. You won't have to pay for all of them. Some of them will just do it because you sent them a free unicorn. But if you pay, you know, a thousand, let's say you have another five thousand dollar a month budget to pay influencers, which is kind of low, but that's another sixty thousand. If we go back to our sheet here, even if we subtract out a hundred and twenty thousand dollars as an additional budget, okay? I don't know what that. Let's do the quick math. One hundred twenty thousand dollars between the cost of the products to sell, uh, or to ship out to influencers, and the cost to pay influencers you're still left with a 
awesome net of over a million dollars in profit. Okay. Crazy people. Okay. So that's what I would do. I would go, I would double down, triple down, quadruple down on influencer marketing, get these unicorns out to as many influencers as possible, and then have somebody even add another team member whose sole job is influencer management or hire an agency to, to do influencer management and have them just work with the influencers to create fun content. That brand building mixed with the Amazon, Walmart, eBay distribution and PPC, without a doubt, has this company at $10 million plus in revenue, judging by all their other products that they have, and probably five to $10 million in profit. That, my friends, is a good business. Thanks for watching. I do way more uh, these case studies uh, on my YouTube channel. Go to subscribe to YouTube where I uh, go over awesome products and services uh, and I break them down, break down the economics. And if you need help with your marketing, contact my agency, Good Monster. Just Google search Good Monster. Uh, and we'd love to help you manage your, e your e-commerce, your Amazon, influencer marketing, and all that stuff. Until next time, see you later.